Band Music fans, I am back here to do another one of these uh, Spotlight on Compilation albums, all right? Mainly Kiss and American Hard Rock and Metal. Now, Kiss is the one that I have the most of, even though I do have uh, Kiss's entire uh, studio discography and I think most of the, if not all, of the live discography, all right? So, again, you know, why do I have comp compilation albums for bands that I have most of their studio stuff? Well, just maybe there's some extra track, you know, or some live stuff. Or you just want to have the hits all in one place. Let's get started. Here, and curiously enough for Kiss, I don't have their most famous one, which is Dub Double Platinum, which came out in the 70s, you know. Uh, you may remember that one with a really cool um, a silvery cover, right? But the one I do have here is Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits. This one came out during the non-makeup era. And it goes up to, I believe, uh, Asylum, uh, you know, that, that album. Uh, the unique thing here is that it has, it has Beth with Erica Carr vocals on it. Okay, so Smash the Thrashes and Hits. I also have this on cassette somewhere. Then we have a compilation that came out when they got back together with the makeup. This is a greatest kiss, right there. And the unique thing here is that it has a live version of Shout It Out Loud, right there. That is a cool concept for the cover, but a uh, poor execution because those photos are really blurry. They have been in color, and the good shop photos, this would, would have been uh, much better. Then a compilation of their uh, Alive material. You know, live material from the Alive 1 and 2. This is, um, you wanted the best, you got the best. Right there. And the cover is not red. It is actually the CD case that is red. Let's look at the cover. is like this. Okay. But the CD case is has this reddish tint on it, which is pretty cool. All right, there's a, the tray. It has from a live one and two, and also I believe some unreleased stuff that was not from that era, even though there are some questions, you know, as always, how live it really is. Then we have this one, The Best of Kiss, which if you don't want to get into the whole Kiss discography, I recommend this one. 20 tracks. It covers their entire um, studio discography. All right. You know, up from the first album to the last a studio album. There's a track list. If you want to pause it. Okay. And lastly for Kiss is their uh, box set. Okay has a little bit of water damage down here. This is a five CD set and it includes uh, all the, you know, a best of, of all of those eras plus a lot of unreleased uh, uh, demos and, and stuff like that. Okay, this is what came on the back of it. Here it had of course an ad for a whole bunch of uh, uh, KISS merchandise. It had included this a book, which has a lot of really great pictures in it, you know. And what's cool about this is that it has the, the songs, and there's commentary by the band on each of the songs. So, so that's really interesting. It's a really interesting read, you know, going going song by song. Here are the discs. I'm not going to go through all of them. There's five of them. And like I said, it has all of them divided by eras. For instance, this is uh, disc one would be from from uh, 1966 up to 1975. This one. We have Strutter, demo version, Deuce, uh, demo version, you know, some, some stuff from Wicked Lester, even. Okay, you know, a demo, demo and then studio versions like 
Nothing to lose, Black Diamond, Heart and Hell. You know, the usual stuff. Likewise with uh, the rest of the discs, you know. We have also some live material included. And some demos. As well as the regular studio versions. Okay. Now for Dio. Which I have all of the discography except for Angry Machines. But here we have uh, Diamonds, the best of Dio. With 11, uh, no, excuse me, 13 tracks going up, up, up until the Lock Up the Wolves album here. Diamonds, the best of Dio. There's the man himself. And this one, which I really recommend. This is called the Ronnie James Dio Story. And it is a two CD set and it covers his entire career from um, Elf up until Rainbow then Black Sabbath and then the band Dio okay so we have a pretty good you know uh, cross-section of songs from all of those eras even up to the to the studio tracks that he did with when he got back together a second time with Black Sabbath you know for the final tour that he did um, we have Bible Black and Shadow of the Wind the Ronnie James Dio story Mightier Than the Sword is the, is the name of this one. Okay. It's a two CD set. We got, go now to um, Aerosmith. Now, I'm not a huge Aerosmith Myth fan. I just have this one and, I, and, and a live album and then another one. It's called uh, Aerosmith Big Ones, which has all the hits from their... Um, comeback albums, you know, when they hit it big on M and MTV, you know, uh, Love in an Elevator, Ragdoll, Dude Looks Like a Lady, those those tracks. I probably need another compilation with their early stuff, and I'll be good with with Aerosmith for that. Van Halen, Volume One, covers both the the. David Lee Roth and um, Sammy Hagar Ayers. We got 70, 17 tracks, including uh, two tracks with uh, Roth, you know, two new tracks. Can't Get This Stuff No More and Me Wise Magic right there. Van Halen, Best Of Volume 1. Volume one. There was never a Volume 2. Even though, the, even though there have been other Van Halen compilations, but they did not call them Volume 2. Somebody who is hard rock, not really metal. It is Joan Jett and the Blackhearts' Greatest Hits. Two CD set. Pretty much all you need from Joan Jett. And it comes in this digipack that resembles um, a double uh, LP album sleeve. And I believe even, yes, even the, the CDs come in little, you know, inner album sleeves. John Jett, Greatest Hits, including eight songs from the film The Runaways, which I also have on DVD. Marilyn Manson, here we go. Lest We Forget, the best of Marilyn Manson. This one is quite a few years old because he's taken out several studio albums since then. It is a single, single CD set plus an extras uh, DVD. For Marilyn. Not a huge Marilyn Manson fan, just with this greatest hits is all I need, pretty much. Likewise with this next artist, Rob Zombie. Here we go. Past, present, and future. Also, like the Manson one, it includes a bonus uh, DVD with uh, the videos. Here we have 17 songs with everything that you need from, from Mr. Zombie. Uh, also stuff from White Zombie included here. The beautiful Sherry Moon Zombie. I did see uh, Rob Zombie live once uh, opening up for Ozzy several years ago. Another uh, 
legendary American band, and and I'm pretty good with all of these, which are pretty much their their greatest hits, which is ZZ Up, ZZ Top, greatest hits, right there. I probably could use with another uh, compilation that has more of their early stuff, because this one focuses a lot on their, you know, from their Eliminator on onward. And to finish it all off, here we have a band that I've seen live twice. It is Quiet Riot. Greatest hits. And I've seen them live here in Mexico. Okay, once they came to my city, when they were on the latter days, no longer with Kevin Dubrow, who had passed away, and uh, with only Frankie Benali as an original member. But the, the first time I saw them, which was in a neighboring city, it was with their, shall we say, classic lineup of Kevin Dubrow, uh, Rudy Sarso, Frankie Banali, and Carlos Cavazo. Quiet Riot, greatest hits. There we go. Well, that's it for these compilations of uh, American hard rock and metal. I'm going to do another one for the uh, European stuff, you know, all the English and, uh, and uh, other countries. Right? For now, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and uh,